Joe Fano, thought I'd just do a little video of uh, well, my update on the stock car rebuilders. Can't see myself, I'm using my phone just to make a video and um, just thought I'd share some of my progress with you. So this is what we're up to. So last night I just finished, um, started doing the side rail. Uh, but this is the old car that um, Dad used to race. Had a Casper, the friendly ghost painted on the body. But uh, I sort of changed it and chopped it up before moving to Australia and then came back. And um, so we started rebuilding it. Hopefully we can get it out there for this season. And it's only about nine weeks away till first practice at Gizzy. But this is what we're rolling with. This is the old flatty. I think it's originally from Rotorua. And then Mike Bell had it. And then the old man brought it off Mike Beal, and he had it ever since. When the, uh, Mike Beal had it, it had a Chev in it, and then the old man put that old Ford V8 in it. And now we're going to chuck it in to the standard stock, so we got just a Falcon 6 in it. This is a 3.9, but we're just using it as a dummy block, because we've got a 4 litre motor. But yeah, this is where we're at so far. Pretty much uh, had to chop all the roll cage off because it was um, the pipe was too small on it, and uh, so this is where we're at. Uh, the engine cradles kind of tacked in and sort of welded a little bit in a few places. Um, the firewall got the floor done. Uh, bow housings in there, so set up for ZF gearbox. Still after a. A flywheel and all the clutch parts. We've got pressure plate and clutch plates, but uh, some other bits and pieces we got. Um, we got this uh, inlet manifold from Rico Gray down in Christchurch. He sent that one up through the Palmy. And um, so we got that. Um, this Toyota diff got that offset a long time ago, ages ago. Uh, but still got a lot of stuff to do, so. That's where we're at so far, just finished putting that side rail on and we, we're only running with like the skinny 75 by 50 mil side rails at the moment. Uh, we, we don't know what the weight's going to be like. When the old man had it, uh, had a commercial diff in it and uh, it was pretty heavy. If you know what a commercial diff is, they're heavy as. So he had one of those in it and the V8, I think we might have saved a few kilos on the V8. And that was the gearbox with the steel bow housing on it. Um, it's a four-speed holding gearbox. But yeah, um, what else? So there's a lot, lot that we need to do, a lot that we have to sort of figure out. Um, power steering box and all that stuff, all the steering arms. Uh, stabilizer arms, none of that stuff's on there. It's, we're gonna just roll with the old school uh, Zephyr uh, brake calipers and stuff. I've got another axle and some uh, Ford stubs, but we just want to get it rolling first, and then um, we'll uh, we'll change those things as we go. Uh, what else? That's the body that we've got for it. She's an old Morris Eight one. And uh, that's the old roll cage that was on there. Uh, yeah, this pipe here was galvanised, but you're not allowed galvanised. And the other one is 40 mil steam pipe, so I'll probably use that for something else on the car. Other than that, uh, that's about it. Big list of things um, that we need to do. But I got a little list. I think it might be inside. Um... Got a few parts we're going to drop off uh, today. And then hopefully in the next video we've got some springs and shocks. And uh, yeah, I'll we'll spin the camera around. Hopefully you can see me. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, we're gonna be, I'm going to be um, doing an actual proper Facebook page for uh, everything that I'm doing now. Not just Speedway, but um, the other things that I do as well. So when that comes, you can see on my personal profile, you'll, it'll be all up there and you can go and follow that and follow along. But anyway, yep. Um, 
that's it for now until the next video and the next update cheers